you know, this idea that, you know, at one point we're going to reach this level and we're done, it just doesn't exist. Continue the attack implies, hey, we're always trying to get better, we're always moving forward. We're always trying to knock down obstacles and improve things so that uh, if and when we have to compete on that combat battlefield, uh, the ultimate competition that we're ready and we're going to be successful. Stuff we're doing really good. Number one is operationally, we're killing it. Everywhere Marines are overseas, whether in Syria or Iraq or Afghanistan or Norway or in the Pacific, everywhere we go, people just rave about us. The second thing we're doing really well is we're Six. recruiting good people. Six. You can put yourself in that category. And recruiting is hard, making mission. We've made mission every month. Shoot, I think since 2006. I mean, we're in a world of global competition, of peer adversaries, where we haven't been for many, many years. So I think it's important for Marines to realize that uh, just like we pay attention to what other potential adversaries do, they're paying attention to us. And we want them to pay attention to us because we may have to compete against them. Finally, Marines have always adapted well to the changing demands of the operating environment through innovation. Yeah, the battlefield is the ultimate competition, and our nation expects if we compete on that battlefield that we're going to win, where there is no other option. So we've got to be ready to go. And you may not get a practice game. you got to be ready to go tonight, and you've got to bring your A game, and you've got to be successful. The strength of an elite organization is the ability to self-correct, to see where they are falling short and need to change in order to remain effective without suffering a loss or a defeat. We've got to change, and that's on me. We must eliminate any conduct that prevents us from going to the next level of excellence. Behaviors such as drunkenness, sexual assault, sexual harassment, inappropriate conduct on social media, hazing, Recklessness and a general lack of discipline do nothing to help our readiness and to prepare for the fight. The path to success is simple. There is no rocket science here. There is no substitute for hard work and commitment, for grit. When things get hard, that's when we double down. So in the year ahead, we must continue the attack on multiple fronts. I've never met anybody who hasn't had an issue or a problem or some sort of trauma in their life that they haven't had to overcome. And there's no dishonor in, in acknowledging that or saying that sometimes you come up short individually. But there is no honor in quitting. We just, you can't quit. It's not part of, of what we are as Marines. So we don't ever quit on each other. We never leave each other on the battlefield. We never leave each other anywhere uh, when a Marine is in need. It's just not the way we live our lives. Once a Marine, always a Marine isn't some empty slogan but it's part of a creed branded on our soul from the first moment we earned that title. I charge all of you to continue to be Marines of character and virtue. We have done these tasks for the past 243 years for the nation, and as long as the United States exists, Americans will expect their Marine Corps to be there to fight and to win.